Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHacks.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. And help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for War for Cybertron Earthrise Snapdragon. And this decal set includes two decal sheets, one on foil backing and one on vinyl. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Snapdragon both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, Snapdragon looks great. He's got tons of molded details, but really not a lot of paint applications. The only real paint applications he has is he's got these red eyes or a red visor, purple mouth plate, Decepticon insignias there on his chest, and that's about it. He's got translucent windows there on his legs that carry over from vehicle mode. But, as I said, that's pretty much it for paint applications. The figure does look great as far as the sculpted detail is concerned. And he was one of my favorite figures of 2020. So there you go, guys. One final look at Snapdragon in robot mode before and after. Snapdragon looks a lot more menacing now thanks to Toy Hacks and his brand new yellow eye decals. These are very reminiscent of Generation 1, and I really like how that looks. He also gets a brand new mouth plate, new sticker decals right there, silver and red, new red circuitry details right there, a decal that kind of looks like the tech specs from the Headmaster gimmick. Moving on down, he gets new red decals there on the wrists, a new decal right there on the crotch, silver decals right there on the upper thighs. Down on the lower legs, we get turquoise decals here in the knees and the shins. Vent decals right here on the ankle and little red triangle decals there on the feet. Also up on the shoulders, he has new chrome decals that go over his cones. Also, there's some decals right there and those carry over for jet mode. Now, this Decepticon logo right here is an extra decal I had because, unfortunately, these two decals cover up the Decepticon logos, and I'm a big fan of the insignias on my figure, so I just used an extra and stuck up there on the shoulder. So there you go, guys. There is Snapdragon in robot mode after. In jet mode, straight out of the packaging, Snapdragon once again is covered in great molded detail. I love the looks of this jet. No real paint applications whatsoever except here on the back. You've got some purple details, a Decepticon insignia right there, some turquoise, and that's about it. You do have the translucent cockpits right here, and when you open the cockpit up, there is paint applications there on the inside for the consoles. I think that's really cool. I like it when Hasbro actually gives you some details for the cockpits. You don't see that often. Now taking a quick look at his Titan Master Krunk. Krunk, lots of details on him as well as far as sculpting is concerned. Paint applications, he's got a red visor and a purple face. Back of the figure is of course Snapdragon's head. So there you go guys. One final look at Snapdragon in jet mode and Krunk before and after snapdragon gets a few decals to help enhance his jet mode first off you've got these turquoise stripes that go here along the side and on the wings he also gets new decepticon logos on each wing right here he gets new purple decals and a silver decal right there and let's see inside the cockpit open this up on either side you get new 
gauge decals right there. If you can see those, those are little tiny decals. So those are there inside the cockpit. And that's pretty much it for jet mode. Not a lot, but these stripes really add to the figure. Oh, almost forgot. There are new yellow decals right here on the tail fins. So now let's take a look at Krunk. Krunk gets a new Decepticon logo right there in the center of his chest, and he gets brand new purple pecs. So there you go, guys. There's Snapdragon in jet mode and Krunk after. In dragon mode, straight out of the packaging, Snapdragon still has lots of molded detail, but there's really no paint applications. He does have red right there for the, I guess, the lips. Got uh, the Decepticon logos there on his back. A Decepticon logo right there on the chest. And really, that's about it. Like I said, lots and lots of molded details. And I hate these eyes. He's got these little hollow eyes that's supposed to line up with the headmaster that forms his lower jaw. But I can't get that to line in half the time. The worst thing about this figure is the jaw mechanism there. So, there is one final look at Snapdragon in Dragon Mode before and after. And once again, the eyes have it. Snapdragon gets these new eye decals that really add to the look of the Dragon Mode and makes him look a lot more mean. So you got the new eye decals right here. There's also little decals right there that line up with the eye decals. There's just a little edge right there that you need to fit those around. There's also a new decal right here on the neck that is not shown at all on Toy Hacks' website. So I gotta give a big shout out to David Kwan from the Toy Hacks Facebook page for pointing that out. So those decals go right there on the dragon neck. Moving on down, you see the chrome right there on the tip of the engine intakes. More details right there from the wings on the back of the dragon. He gets new decals right there along the tail that go all the way down and a couple little decals right there. Moving on down to the feet, he gets new purple decals right there on the ankles, top of the foot, and he now gets silver claws. And I really like that. I love the looks of Snapdragon's dragon mode now. He looks so much better than what he was before. So there you go, guys. Snapdragon in dragon mode after. <laughs> Toy Hacks once again knocks it out of the park with this decal set for War for Cybertron Earthrise Snapdragon. They took an already great figure and added so much more personality to him. I absolutely love the eye decals in robot and dragon mode and the subtle decals in all three modes really add so much more. So there you go, guys. The Toy Hacks decal set for Earthrise Snapdragon. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, let me know in the comments down below what you think of my new way of showing befores and afters here at the end of this video. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!